First up on our list, give me a two minute pec stretch. One minute each side. Find a wall. 90 degree angle here. Rotate your upper body away from that arm. Get your upper delt pec. Stuff. You can change that angle by just by extending your arm, straightening your arm a little bit. Just change up the angle where that stretch is happening. Remember, it's the first thing you're doing this morning, really. So don't go too crazy. Gradually press into it. Hold. Press into it and then release. Press into it. Rotate that upper body. Press that hand into the wall or whatever you're using. And then release. Do a minute each side. One minute each side. Keep on changing that angle up. Start at a 90 degree. Hold there. Press in. Release. Do that a few times and then extend that arm a little bit higher up. Press in. Dig around. Try to find that stretch. Oh, yeah. That's different on this side. You can actually turn your neck in the opposite direction. You're not going to break. So try to find the areas that are tight in the upper delt area. If you guys haven't switched already, switch. Make sure you're breathing through it. All right, guys. Good stuff. Your next exercise. Give me a minute of YTWs. Just gonna run right through all of them, right in the row. So Y, T, and then W, and then repeat. Y. T, and then a W. Try to keep those shoulders pressed down, scapula down. Doing it for a minute. Your warm up. Three exercises. Push up is the first one. Whether you're on your knees or whatever you're doing, squeeze your glutes, keep the trunk nice and tight. Think about the upper back doing the work. Okay, so pinch your shoulder blades back first. Here or here, it doesn't matter, keep that back flat. But the action happens back here, okay? And also think about rotating your shoulders out and not going inward like this, okay? So the push-up is not really an easy exercise as we, we've come to figure out. But we're doing three first round and then adding three each set after that. Okay, whether you're on your knees or you're doing a, a, uh, a full push-up, either way. Next up, band pull apart. Pull the band apart. Pinch those shoulder blades back. Okay, I give you that profile view first because that's what's doing all the motion. That back area. Really pulling those shoulder blades back. Try to keep your wrist nice and straight. Doing four plus four each set. Last up, ground to overhead. Regardless if you have a plate or a dumbbell, either way, hinge position, deadlift, chest, overhead. Back down, rinse and repeat. Okay, you're doing four plus four each round. Eight minutes, as many rounds as possible. I don't care how many rounds you get. I don't care how many reps you get. Make sense? In 10 seconds, let's go to work. Eight minutes, as many rounds as possible. Let's get warm. Let's chase the pump. Let's get it. Take your time. It's not a race. Quality reps. All right. You guys get the concept from this week, right? The partial, the full. Slow. So decline floor press, how do we do that? Put those dumbbells in the crease of your hip first. And then sit back. It's just the safest way to go. Okay? So we know floor press is here. So try bridging your hips up. It's going to change the angle a little bit on where your chest is getting hit. What, what part of your chest. Okay? So bridge your hips up. You're also going to get some glute action in it. So here, now, there's 12 reps we gotta do. So the first four reps are gonna be a 10 second rep. So one, two, 
three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Four reps like that. Now, we're doing a partial rep. So start at the bottom. You're gonna come halfway up, all the way down, and then all the way up. All the way down, halfway up, all the way down, and then all the way up. You're doing four reps like that. And then to complete the set, you're gonna do four regular speed reps, which will bring you to 12, and then you're done. Does it make sense? So four slow, four partial, four regular. Cool? Now, next up, exercise is called a skull crusher. I don't really like that term, but it's good for a reminder of what this dumbbell can do to you and what, what it can do to your head, right? So I have one here. If you guys have two lighter ones, that's fine. Or if you have, you know, I, I don't want to use one with one hand right now. It'll hurt my elbow. It's too heavy for me. So I'm using one. Skull Crusher is bringing those, that dumbbell close to your head, but not actually hitting it. And then coming straight up for the triceps. Okay? So, 10 second rep is pretty easy, right? Five on the way down, five on the way up, nice and easy. For your partial, you're gonna come, what would you do? Yeah, come back, come to your head, and go up, all the way down, and then all the way up. So it's really, it's gonna be a small partial rep. It's not like, there's not much you can really, you know, divide that single joint movement up into. But, come to your face, halfway up, all the way down, and then all the way up, fully extend. And when I say fully extend, I mean like 99%, right? Because you never wanna fully extend all the way, put all that tension on the joint. You want to keep it on the muscle. Okay, does that make sense? And then the last, you're going to do regular tempo reps. 12 of those, so four, four, four. Okay, your third exercise with the partials is going to be uh, front raise. Simple stuff. So side profile, squeeze the glutes, keep the core nice and tight. Five on the way up and then five on the way down, right? A partial rep, it's literally gonna be just raising your hands up a little bit, coming back down, and then going all the way up. That little bit of movement, the partial, is just to get a little bit more work out of you, and to get a little bit more work in that area, and it's gonna tax you that much more. So it's gonna be, build, it's gonna be building upon each other, each, each rep, okay? That little bit extra is gonna add on to the time under tension for that muscle group. Does that make sense? Those are only nine. So it would be three 10 second reps, and then three partial reps, and then three normal reps. Now, you got a fourth exercise in there, which is going to be a leg raise with a pipe. So hands at your side, Big exhale up to here, right? So once you get to here, hands are better off here. Don't try them up here, it might be difficult. So hands at your side, big exhale up, and get that last little push up. I call it a pipe. Okay, it's gonna get a little bit more core work, a little bit more um, hip extension. That is going to be seven reps, and then you're gonna add seven reps each set. That's gonna be compounding. So start with your decline floor press, skull crushers, front raise, leg raise, increase on the leg raise. You guys got 20, 20 to 25 minutes. I'll see, I'll see what we look like at the 20 minute mark and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Third beep, we're gonna to go to work. Did you feel it? Do you feel your upper body a little swelled up? A little swollen? 
All right, so you got one more exercise, maybe two. Five minute hold, front support plank. That's it, that's your whole finisher, okay? So plank, squeeze your glutes, tuck your pelvis underneath, lean forward a little bit so your shoulders are past your wrist, and you're holding, that's it. Pressing into the floor, keeping that back tight. Back tight, meaning press in so that back is rounded. Squeeze your glutes. Tip. You're gonna hold for five minutes. Do we expect you to do it for five minutes? No. If you break, if you have to come out of it, that's totally fine. We're gonna, we're gonna suggest that you do an exercise as a bonus because you came out of the plank. Could be either a burpee, squat thrust, Burpee, squat thrust, or plank jack. So I know you just came out of a plank, but you can just do one, two, three. Okay? Now, every time you come out of the plank, you're gonna add reps onto that exercise. So five minute is the goal. If you come out of it once, you do one of those three exercises, three reps. And you go back to the plank. And if you come out of it again, you do that exercise with three more reps. So you're doing six reps of that exercise. And then you're gonna add reps every time you have to come out of it. So the goal is to stay in it as long as possible. And then if you wanna come out of it, you choose an exercise. Third beep, let's go to work. <laughs> 